Good morning, folks. Evening. Whatever. Good evening. Welcome back to Sea Fox Paints. We are excitedly getting started on this hovering Dracolich model. Very much looking forward to this one. This one just has a, a really cool scope. Really looking forward to this. Like that flame effect. Really looking forward to that. But we are going to start on the wings. And going off the wings, we're going to decide what we're going to do with everything else. But we're going to start with some wraith bone. Actually, we probably don't have to start with Wraith Bone. We could start with Yellow Ochre. That might be better. Let's do one bone and see how it looks, and then we'll go off of that. So, not that one. This one. Darken. Okay. Not too bad. Hope everyone's doing well tonight. I'm doing this model for a very, very, very good friend. And it has been drastically delayed. I'm looking forward to it. I already have an idea for like the uh, meaty bits that are still left, like the uh, muscle and the sinew and everything. I'm just going to get this wraith bone on and then we'll see where it goes from there. Looks obviously looks really bright now, but we are going to darken that up. Let's 
pretty drastically in a little bit once we get it all done I'm going to go to a bigger brush though. So I'm not driving myself insane. I think what really makes this skull stand out is the opportunities with the, uh, the damn smoke or the fire. No! Something important dropped. got we got something yeah we got something for the job actually this is a what hey what's going on how are you doing Exxon It is going pretty well. This is my Friday. I do not work on Fridays. I do not work on Saturdays, but I do work on Sunday. This is this is my Friday. How about your how about yourself? How are you doing? Good getting work done. Good. Stay productive. How'd your week go? Or your week go since the last time I spoke to you? So not worry about hitting the uh, the meat with the the paint because it's gonna get painted over every way. Anyway, just want to make sure the bone. It's enough love. This is a dra a hovering Draco lich. So the wings is gonna connect to this. This is so big. I'm gonna have to change the aspect of my camera just so you can see it. It's amazing. Hold on. Yeah. Look at this nonsense. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's it's really cool. Like I said, I'm doing for a, a really good friend. He sent me like when he he sent me the link for it. Um, it's not like his sculpt. Um, he purchased it and I'm just painting it. But he sent me the link for it. So if you're interested in it, I can track it down. I was literally just looking at it on my phone not long ago. But the algorithm treats this very well. If you literally type in hover and Dracula, you'll find it. And I believe they just sell it as an STL. But there is someone on Etsy who I believe sells it printed. And I hope that's the same person.
I don't either. And he doesn't. But he had a he has a friend who who prints stuff out for him. Um, I do have a friend who can print stuff out for me. All they ask is just I just pay for the uh, resin. Yeah, the studio printing stuff is going to get bigger and bigger. It's a lot of Warhammer stuff you can print out. And I think even with Warhammer, it goes down to percentages um, when it comes to is something tournament legal or not. I don't think the whole model needs to be, but if, if there's a percentage that they expect. Last I checked, it was actually pretty reasonable. Let that dry and I'll start on the other side. 35 plus. Oh, so you see, you found it. <clears throat> it's not bad. It's not. You found the one on Etsy. No. Not even reasonable. And again, the people like, I'm like the people who created the model and are printing it on Etsy, I, I do not know them at all. I just know this is one of those models that people might want to paint themselves, especially when it's 35 bucks. If you don't, if you play Age of Sigmar, you don't have a lot of, uh, yes, it's a hundred millimeter base. I want to get a really nice base for it though. Not plastic, like I'm thinking of wooden. And I'm probably going to buy something from Etsy for that. Mm-hmm. Just double check to make sure it's not just the STL. That's the only thing I recommend. Oh, you know. But yeah, I, I was looking at it too. I was looking at it just in case I broke this thing. You know. You know, you just sometimes you want to keep old shit parts around. So I do have extra parts for this thing lying around just in case. Well, I have the model lying around just in case. I don't think I'm going to need it because um, I do plan to be extremely careful. But it saves time, especially when you're dealing with someone else's property. Yeah, it takes time to print. I do remember my the, my friend asking me to paint it. 
and it took him a while to get to me and it wasn't out of procrastination it was out of the fact that it had to be printed and shipped Good night. Thank you. Hey, oh, hi, Kavinicus. A law. If any of you I um, end up painting this, I would love to see it. Like, please post that in my Discord. I would very much like to see that. Thirty-four ninety. <laughs> you ain't cheating. You ain't trying. I think it'll be better to get the bone done, darken it, and then, then start to do the meat. I'll finish the wings first, and then based off of how they look, I will do the body. That's one of those orders you wake up, wake up to as a printer, and you're just like, shit. Here goes my Wednesday. Good night. So if, like I said, if you play AOS and you're real cool with your friends when it comes to what you can use, um, I think this can easily be used as like a, a zombie dragon or a terror geist. I know if I was playing against you, I wouldn't have an issue with it.
Wait, wait, wait. What's everyone else up to tonight? I know some of us are at work. No! Just put my Azrael through his first dirt bath. Nice. Trying stripes. Come on, Apothecary. Kind of intimidated by the white armor of Grimdark. But we'll see. Yeah, white. That could be hard. You can always rattle can it. And then just darken it. We're going to shoot people. I'm going to keep an eye on chat if anything needs to be band hammered. Fair enough. You playing fire team? Music, what are you doing? How do you start out your minis when you're painting Grimdark? You just do like normal and then just weather the hell out of them? How does that work?
Ponce, hello, hello, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Welcome in, Dice Dome. How you doing? I have an exorcist to finish painting, but no time for that. Oof. Well, hope you get some time. I know it can be tough trying to fit in hobbying with everything else you got to do. You definitely understand that. play some games with the kiddo than bedtime then you get to play oh yeah are you playing fire team what are you planning on playing playing fortnite with you is hilariously fun it's hilariously fun and even hilar even more hilarious that we win. Next time, uh, it was around, it had to have been around last Christmas. We were playing with, with my kids. It's like me, you, my kid, my kids on their, their, uh, switch and a few other folks. And we, uh, we won a couple, if I remember correctly, or at least one. I'll paint them with exaggerated highlights, starting with airbrush and laundry, and there's gonna be similar highlights along the way. Very new, very light neutral tones with highlights, and then come in with some acrylic washes over them. After I draw, I'll touch up the highlights and add a dark brown oil paint wash over everything. Soak up the paint around the brightest highlights after the layer dries. Come through in weather areas with light silvers, browns, blacks, and face weathering, and then oil wash again. Okay. Big work trash talking. We're black again and clean up the highlights with spirits. I like that whatever. Yeah, that sounds like okay. That makes sense. And yeah, yeah, dice. They they were definitely trash talking. I was like, man.
must be nice to trash talk while you're being carried i, did, I like i remember there was a time where one of them was on the game and they were running away from a group and we were on like a mesa just laying down covering fire as they were escaping This is a uh, wraith bone. There's more tan than anything. But we're gonna bring this down a lot. I wanted to start brighter okay, so I could play around with the shadows a little bit more as I was taking it back down. Now I know what pen I, I wanna use. Oh, that was a very sharp knife, Mr. Pell. Uh, some of the uh, Pro Acryl paints. I mean, but I wanted to start with the base set, but I think, well, not I think the base set finally was back on sale, so I snagged it. So every other time it was on sale, I would have other things that I need to worry about. I didn't mean on sale. It was for sale. Um, a lot of like, I, they, I mean, they're popular, so a lot of times it's sold out. So I'm not happy about the sale. I'm just happy that it was available. <laughs> like very bare bones. Uh, just happy that it was even an option. It's like I like I meant like every other time that it has been on sale, I've had other things I needed to pay for, and paint wasn't a priority, but. The stars aligned and Relier came up and Cthulhu bought the paint for me and he's going to send it next day air. I usually keep watching their website and sometimes you'll see um, advertisement in Facebook, especially if you if you've you've you know, the website and stuff like that, and they're part of like your digital footprint, you'll start seeing their advertisements when certain sets are, 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 are available to purchase. So that's what I've been doing. So these spines are going to be gold. So there's a story behind this dragon. This isn't just some random dragon. This is a player character who's a gold drag, who was a gold dragon and just through general role playing end up being a gold dragon Dracolich. So I want to keep the gold as a part of it. So a lot of these spines are going to keep gold. Um, some of the flesh, I'm going to pit some slight gold on it. Not like pure gold paint, like a blotch, but like maybe dry brush it to give it a little bit or hit it or light or a little, my, my super detail, um, airbrush and just fairy dust it, you know, little, little fairy dust.
Okay. And there's some bones here. Interesting bone structure. This is mostly going to be gold and body. That chest, however, I'm probably just going to hit with Wraith Bone right now. So I got I to get all up in that. something a little bit more with a little bit more control mm. and just start picking this mess out i'll be do this as we'll give a chance for the wings to dry and then we can grab some wash and start pulling that down a little bit. I've been living on Citadel's Rune Lord Brass, then a wash of Agros Dunes contrast over for my gold. Try it sometime. It's a very muted gold and looks fantastic. That does sound pretty good. And I am looking for, like, I don't want it to be pure gold. Like when I was talking to my friend about it, like one thing that gold doesn't do is tarnish. And I, but since it's like a Draculich and it's like super evil, I want to try to create like almost like a tarnished effect a little bit. This whole breastplate needs to be painted. And I gotta get into the pelvic region too. You may not be able to see it, but bear with me. I think it's a very cool model. I mean, it's like thinking about it in a D&D &D sense. It's one thing to run from something that's spewing dragon fire. It's a different matter entirely to be running from dragon fire that's shaped like shit. This all bone? No, it's very few pieces. Very few parts of this are actually not bone. I might just start covering it and then come back in and detail it. I just don't want the paint too thick. We'll see. Also, might take it off the mouth, take the mouth off. That might help a little bit. Yeah, I'm. They play that game on stream sometimes. 
And I'm just straight up interested, like, what happened? Like, that's a big jump. It takes a lot to corrupt a gold dragon, like a lot. Like, I'm not even questioning, like, the DM's ability. I'm just genuinely curious of, this, of the plot line. How was the Draco Lich on par with the rest of the group? That's another thing you gotta think of. There's a group. Essentially, yeah. He's a lich. He might show up and we can ask him about it. Like exactly how that happened. No, I've watched their game. They're not like evil. He plays an evil campaign and I'm running that. I don't. I mean, first of all, we have to recognize that we're, we're, we're talking about a group that had a gold dragon in the first place to be corrupted. That's number one. I... Yeah, I started my evil campaign. They, um, they all started as prisoners for various horrible crimes. And they start, they started on a prison that's floating through the ether on a, a comet. And the way they keep the, everyone there is they're frozen on the comet. Other than being pulled out to like do work details or eat. They escape, one of the escapees delib uh, deliberately looks for the personal effects of a lich that's currently being um, incarcerated there. He finds the lich's stuff. The lich literally has the Book of Vile Darkness in his per personal effects. And now he's walking around with it and it's got a demon in it. And the demon is taking control here and there. And the last time they even took control of this, they were... So essentially, they, they, they wanted like a multiversal campaign so they can go to different d, &D planes when they wanted to. So they were in Baldur's Gate and they had to escape. But there was a lot of guards between them and the gate. So my player deliberately fails his role so this demon can take over. The demon takes over, snaps his fingers, and all the guards ignite on fire simultaneously. Which 
is one, a horrible massacre, and two, a great distraction. Post it in Discord. Okay, give me one second. So that was the moment that player was like, oh, I, I may have sold my soul to an archdemon. And they're doing things they're doing things uh, like I'm, I'm putting things in front of them that are evil. Like one of the, like when you get the Book of, Book of Vile Darkness, you have to like roll on tables to see how it affects you. And one of them is um, things near him that are like level zero automatically die. So that's basically any NPC, if he walks past them, they just catch diseases and just die. So obviously, that's unplayable. So to alleviate that, he had to go into like an elvish forest and get the heart of a treant and corrupt it and eat it to uh, stop the uh, the death aura. So they're like, you know, they're messing up civilians. They're they're killing beautiful things and corrupting them. So it's a good kind of evil campaign. It, it's It's been fun. I never forget the faces around the table when I was like, yeah, so he takes over and he just snaps his fingers and all the guards catch on fire like the eye bulge of that from that from that from the realization that we may have fucked with the wrong thing it was great because an evil campaign you're not worried about evil but you are worried about evil or evil That's what you that's what you gotta worry about. And it's also started like this demon double war now. So like between Baldur's Gate and Waterdeep, it's just demon armies that are preparing for their new overlord, which will may or may not be the player character or the demon if the demon takes over permanently. So yeah, it's getting crazy. This face can use some.
Those horns are definitely going to be gold. It's actually this Maleficent vibe going on. I like it. I don't know if you guys watch any TV, but I've been watching um, The Fall of the House of Usher on Netflix. I must say, it's a good damn show. You've been watching it too? I haven't finished it. I haven't finished it. Um, but I, what I will say is each of these deaths have, have been so well done. Um, that actress who's playing that particular character, I think did a really good job. Okay. So. So we just need some Agrax Earthshade. There's not a lot left in there, but I know I got a new bottle of it. not the right shade so good the cast is such a great job yeah you you always get worried when they're doing those those type of shows because you just want them to you want to you essentially you just want them to do it right but i feel like they they nailed it Yeah, this one. start darkening this down. See, that's what we're going for.
I also like watching B movies on Amazon Prime. Like those really B movies. Washy washy. Pori pori. There's this one beam on there. I forget his name, but it's essentially just Ving Rames being Ving Rames for an hour and 20 minutes. Great. And what's best, he gets to wear an ascot while he's doing it. It's called class. What airbrush size are you? This is a three, a three, uh, like a 0 0.3 millimeter needle. I have gone to five. I do go to five with a bit with bigger stuff. Um, I don't really use that too when it's offered. And I think the detail one I have is just a straight up two. And this is just like a master, you know, cheap master airbrush. The one you can get on like Amazon or that other painting website. I think you know which one I'm talking about. But it gets the job done. It helps me do the effects I need to do. And having that second airbrush that does the detail, I think is very helpful. That one is a little bit more pricey. Oh. One of the uh, aggressors came to say hello. So this is... This is the one I use for detail. So it's our 2020. It's nice. from three to five. Well, this is like 30 bucks and it has all three. If you're in the market. Um, airbrushes are like paint brushes. Not everyone, they don't agree with everyone. So you might not like it, but it's a $30 investment. So it's not like you're gonna be mortgaging your house, cursing my name as you go. You ruined my life, C Fox. I just wanted to paint plastic. But now. Now I'm, I'm painting my pillowcase with tears. And obviously, I mean, there's, there's real expensive ones out there if you, if you want like a really nice one. I want to get one of those one day. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm at that point yet. But I'm going to get one. So I was thinking pink horror for the layer, but that might be a little bit too pink. What do you think for the giblets? This is giblet. What do you think for the giblets? Magenta. It's late. I got to look up the color magenta. Hold on. Fifty shades of magenta. No, thank you. I don't know what you just got me into, but it's not. There's no bueno. So I don't have a corn red, but I know how to make it. Bone shade to like a mustard flesh color. Muted flesh. 
I'm glad you you corrected yourself because I read that as oh he he mistyped mustard. I'd have been over here looking. This would have been looking jacked up. Gotta be careful what colors you throw around in these chats, man. Uh, so. Darker red. So we can do that. No, that's not what we want. How can we do that? Where is it? We can do that. I'll pin a flat purple with my fist in red. Are we going Frenches? Are you talking about the model, the paint itself? So I can darken them with a fist in red down to what you... Oh, what kind of mustard? I mean, if I was gonna do it, I, I think I would make the the bone brighter. I wouldn't have gone as dark on the bone. And I think you could make it work. You just have to make the rest of the colors on the uh, the model match that. Like, I don't think a mustard or like mustard flesh is a bad idea. Like, if we're talking French's. I don't think yellow. I'm talking like French's gray poupon with a little bit more fettedness to it, I think would actually work if you did it with green green fire. I think that, that would be cool. But that also doesn't really speak to scream to me gold dragon. But like we've already established, this model is like 35 bucks plus shipping. So we might just have to paint our own. Let's get my, my head together. Bear with me. Also rest in my hands. While well, I'm doing that. Put you down there. And I start I start playing this game. Let's start playing Sir Mix a lot. I've used it before. I actually used it. What did I use it on? I've used it on something. I've done that on stream already. So you've seen it. I just got to remember what model it was on. It was either on the Impulsor or the. Um... No. The base coat of the little sash, little cod piece sash for that lieutenant was that. And then I started bringing it up with uh, Mephiston, like pure Mephiston red with contrast medium and then higher with like, you know, Wild Troll, Slayer, Orange and all that. So it works. You just gotta make it work here. Pre 
probably want a little more purple than red. Because you want that, you want that dark, the darkness to come out. So I can do this. You can see how this turns. Come on. That's what it turns into. Not pure corn, but you can try it. See what it looks like. Just a little piece of it. One piece of the snin new. I don't think that's bad, and that's gonna get darker when it dries too. So I think we found ourselves a uh, found ourselves a uh, a profile in this. Yes, yeah, it's, it's less deep wine. Dead but classy. It's not bright, lively, oxygenated red like Mephiston is. We can also go over with blood for the blood god. Give it that gooey look. Yeah, I like the way it's drying. for the death guard yeah i did that for death oh i don't have that was a commission but if you go on my instagram i did something similar to that i like death guard i feel like they're they're space marines for people who are people who just don't want to paint boring space marines anymore. Like you can have a lot of fun painting those mouths and you know the gibbering mouths all over them and the tentacles.
Yeah, I have some plague bear, plague pox walkers on there. Pox walker, that's the name as well. I'm not missing any follow. I'm not cooked. Hey, T7, T778. Appreciate you. Yeah, I think it's turning out well. I think this dragon is, look, is going to look beautiful when it's done. Got to keep to the basics. Try to keep the mistakes to the minimum. Mm -hmm. 
And some undead to paint after some cultists. Yeah. Undead is fun to paint. I think my favorite part is... You can kind of like decide how they died as you're painting. Like obviously some of those models where it's like an axe sticking out their head, it's pretty obvious. But when you don't, when you, you don't have something as overt as that, to have that choice I think is really fun. I can believe you. I remember adding burn marks and acid, also sculpting over bones to add character. Yeah. I painted burn min burnt minis once. And it was for, there was these things I had 3D printed, which are basically dead bodies from Etsy. And uh, those went on a base for one of my dreadnoughts. And they're basically a uh, berserker, berserkers of corn, so he got burned in a piece of terrain and the dreadnoughts jumping over it but it was cool to figure out the burn effect because i used like the mordant earth to make like that crackled flesh look into warhammer but i have the minis for an army iron hands and adeptus mechanicus also necrons too also you have a good little mix of model types then necrons are are, are uh, let me say this they can be easy to paint depending on how you want them to look like if you're just doing like the simple metallic i feel like they're relatively simple um 
but there's so many ways to paint necrons it looks so, really amazing so depending on what you decide they may end up looking drastically different i need to mix more of this Yeah, I need to make some more of this. Iron Hands. Iron Hands is fun. I like their new detachment and stuff. Yeah, there are a lot of people who, who may not paint Warhammer. I mean, play Warhammer, but they'll paint it. Whether they're just commission painters or what have you. There's some people who aren't commission painters. They just like painting it. But hate the game itself or just like plan or hates the strong word <sighs> let them mix this again bear with me purple here we go there we go that's the only problem with mixing variations you better remember how you mixed it or else it's gonna be awkward looking good and we got plenty to do the chest too have a kill team of undead orcs given life by a, by a warp storm the fuck was that never mind yeah i'm not doing that we're not doing that tonight no no Yeah, I'm just messing around with the stream. What was that sound? My body was just like, no, we don't do that here. Another thing is, I just got new glasses. You know, I don't know if you, you guys wear glasses, but you ever get new glasses in like that first day or so? Your body is just like, or your eyes are just like, Nyah. I don't want it. I do not volunteer as tribute.
The kill team had lore I made up to make sense in the world of 40k. That's always fun to do. Getting the lore together. Let that dry. What we'll do is we'll just do both tops and then do both bottoms and then we'll go from there. So we'll, what's, what's, what's the skinny on that? Oh, that reminds me. Gotta take a look at that gold, 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 gold. Okay, I see. It does look like a dead gold. The top picture looks a little brighter. X. Um, but I see what you're saying. It's, it's still definitely gold, but it has that I've been through it look. Yeah, I was long overdue for new glasses. I think I hadn't gone to the eye doctor in like, um, it was almost three years. It was close to it. I was just like, no, that's probably not a, probably not a good idea, you know, be that guy on the road. All right, we're going to take a quick break. So I'm going to rest these peepers for a second, and then we'll be right back. All right, no problem. Definitely, definitely join the Discord. Um, trying to get, the, you know, people posting their stuff back in. Uh, we're all, I'm, I'm also thinking about running a uh, crusade for 40K here soon. So if you're interested in that, we're gonna to try to keep that simple. Rules light. Um, but we got some stuff coming up and we also got scary games coming up. So I will be right back, but thank you so much for watching. And I will be right back.
All right, we are back. I think we're sticking through that ad. Helps keep the uh, pre-roll down. So you all don't have to watch nonsense as you're coming in. back to it speed this up a little bit by getting the center the bigger brush
are getting there. So this is just a base code of what we're doing, and then we're gonna move up in color and <laughs> highlights. <clears throat> Have another game of 40k this week. I believe it's against Imperial Guard. Could be Voltan. Depends on what that person brings. But I am still going back and forth between the uh the Iron Storm detachment and the Firestorm detachment. They're both going to be fun to play. I just don't know which one I want to use for that particular battle. I really like the way this red turned out. 
And now that we got two of uh, the main base colors down, we can see anything we miss for a particular, for any of the particular colors is basically black and burgundy. You see anything we miss? Let me fix those little mistakes. All right, those are done. Well, those look very basic now. They will look nicer as we go along. Because we're going to highlight some of that muscle tissue. Probably dry brush it, honestly. Dry brush the muscle tissue. And then put on a cover of that blood for the blood god to give it that gooey feel. And it should turn out relatively nice. I'm going to let those sit for a little bit. So, it's about 12, so I'm going to have to, well, no, it's a little bit before 12, but I'm going to have to end. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, we're going to be working on this until it's done. I'm going to put these Space Marines to the side for a little bit. So the next time we will be streaming will be Monday, and then Tuesday, and then Thursday again. So thank you very much for watching. We are going to get you rated over to one of our, our, our other paintbrush wielding associates. So this. But have a great night and thank you again for watching.